I want to start off with, um, you know, you got the C on your jersey. What does it mean to be a captain? I mean, to be elected as a captain, it's humbling. You know, to, to know that the guys look up to me as a leader, uh, to be a representative to our team and to our program, I think it's, you know, it's, you know, it's something that uh, you know, it just comes with, you know, leadership and just to have the guys see that in me. I think it's it's rewarding. It's an honor. Are you anxious about what this offense can do through the air this year? Oh well, yeah, I mean. You know, I think last year we showed glimpses of greatness. You know, to, I, I don't know that we'll miss a beat coming into this season. Um, you know, just because it's another year under our belt. You know, the, uh, I think guys are comfortable with the offense. And last year during camp, we were still trying to implement this hurry up. And you know, guys have it down now. So I think you know we're already starting it out ahead of where we were last year uh, because those growing pains are kind of gone. And you know, we're working to you know we're working to you know, move the ball as fast as we can. We're, I think that's what makes it exciting and fun to watch. Can you give me a scouting report on the uh, tight end core this year? Yeah, I mean, uh, Derek Roback, he came in last year and you know, kind of broke out there in the bowl game with that touchdown that ended up being I watched a, that a few times. A yeah. key, a key, you know, a key grab, and you know, we needed those points. And, um, so he's back this year, and then Troy Hill, he played uh, two years ago, and then last year had an ACL injury. So he's been itching for over a year to get back on the field. So he's back on the field running around, and he looks good and healthy. Um, and then Tyler Knight, another tight end that played last year, got quite a few reps. Um, and then we have Arthur Jordan, who he's back. Uh, he's been, I don't know that he's played uh, in an actual game, but I mean, he definitely knows the offense and knows what's going on. Um, and then uh, freshman Davon Henry uh, is out of Texas. I mean, he's picked up the offense really quick. And, he seems to throw his body around and do things that you know, show glimpses of you know, being a tight end. A lot of expectation coming into this year. Um, does that worry at all, all that hype that people uh, are going to buy into it? No, nah, I mean, I think you know, expectations as far as surrounding the program. You know, as players, you know, we don't necessarily see much of that except you know, what a guy reads in the newspaper or online. And I think a lot of guys don't even pay attention to it, to be honest with you. So, I mean, it, I think it's it's good um, for the program because it shows respect. You know, the teams are definitely taking note of what we're doing and what we have here. And I think it's special. You know, we have we definitely have something um, that's you know, something good that's going on here. And, you know, we're we're looking forward to coming out and proving that you know we are one of the top teams in the conference and that you know we can come out and play with the best of them. Any individual goals for this year? Uh, I mean, just just to be you know be out there on the field. You know, to, you know, when we're running a run play, to be able to take care of my, you know, to be able to take care of the guy in front of me that I need to block. Um, you know, it's always exciting when I get a big, you know, a big block on some of those plays. But and also at the same time, slip out in the passing game and you know, be a target for Tyler. And I mean, I think that'll all come as we go. You know, I think Tyler does a great job at distributing the ball. He doesn't necessarily key on one or two guys. And I think that's what makes us more dangerous as an offense. And you know, whoever's open, Tyler get the ball to him. And I, you know, that, that'll all take care of itself. Senior year, finally here. Um, dream ending of how you want to see your career end? Uh, win the MAC championship and then go on from there and win the whole game. You know, that's that's something that, you know, the MAC championship I saw was 1968 was the last time that MAC championship was there. So, you know, not only for our program or for the guys on this team, but, you know, for the university. Uh, and I like to tell the story when I was down in Nashville following the basketball team. You know, a guy came up to me and shook my hand and just said, thank you. And I was confused. So for what, you know? He said for doing something that, you know, he said he, said he was an alumni uh, football program in the 90s. And he said that, you know, we were able to accomplish something that, you know, all the guys he played with was trying to get done and everybody prior to them. And he was just saying, you know, thanks for, thanks for, you know, winning that bowl game. You know, I think that, uh, you know, it's a family around here. And I think that was, that was something that, you know, kind of took me back because it was like, wow, you know, we were able to accomplish something that had never been done here, and uh, people took note of that. So I think, you know, that MAC championship, that'd be the next step in, uh, you know, putting the program on another level.